One of the most fun activities to both watch and participate in while working in youth ministry is the game Charades. In this game, you receive a prompt and then silently act it out in front of the other students and have them guess what action or story you're performing. In Ezekiel 12, God has the prophet Ezekiel, well, perform for his fellow exiles, but not for their enjoyment. You see, the captive Israelites rejected the word of the Lord and had chosen to harden their hearts towards his warnings. As judgment approached, they preferred the teachings of false prophets who claimed there would be no judgment at all. In light of their disbelief and refusal to heed God's warnings, God instructs Ezekiel to prepare himself an exile's bag and to bring it out of his house in the sight of all the people. He was then to dig a hole through the city wall and carry his bag through it on his shoulder as an exile would do. This performance wasn't for the entertainment of the people, but to show them that Jerusalem would indeed fall into captivity. While there is much we can learn from this chapter, one thing I want to call to our attention is the importance of discernment in who we listen to. There are many people who bring positive and uplifting messages while claiming to be speaking for God, but it's our responsibility to be like the Bereans. In Acts chapter 17, Paul and Silas enter a city called Berea and immediately begin teaching the gospel. We're told in verse 11, though, that the Bereans received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. Discernment in who and what we listen to should be determined by the foundation that is the Word of God. Today, let's not just settle for teaching and content that makes us comfortable, but let's compare everything we hear to God's Word and allow His wisdom to guide us.